Hello everybody, Sam Spadalovsky provided me quite a challenging request. He asked how to model an egg box. I must admit I was pretty clueless at the beginning and it took me several different approaches till I came to this workflow. So let's start. First I make a square, I'm in top view and make it 20 by 20 millimeters and put it in the middle. Press the A key so we see it, go to vertex mode and select these four words, B for bevel and bevel this with a round level of 0 to about here. Then I select this. This is going to be the bottom. And the bottom, at least of the egg boxes I use or that we have, they look like this. So I delete this. Select these edges here, Alt C, with a count of 2 make it a bit and then select the smaller ones with a count of one. Let's see. Yes, that looks good. We have 20 edges. I don't like 20 edges, sorry. I like numbers which can di be divided by 8. You have much less problems with things like this. So Alt C again, now we have 24. Then I can do uh, a square, uh, sorry, a circle with 24 edges, make it 6 by 6 and 0 here and then go to polygon mode, B for bevel, bevel this in a bit and shift click, bevel it in a bit more and shift click again like so and then go to polygon spiky shift a click in here and now i select this middle vertex this is the fastest way to make all quads from these triangles bevel these and then i can select an edge in here and the next one here up arrow key backspace delete go back to vertex mode Vertex join averaged, 12 half joined, and we have all quads. Now we can go and bridge these. And now I use this outer edge, Z key, right click in the viewport to activate the tool, R key, and on the green circle bring this out about. 180 percent something like this now shift f5 and uh, run the perfect circle script from seneca menar the link to the scripts is in the description and this has worked perfectly set again right click r key and bring this out a bit more now I can select these outer polygons, L key, perspective, W key, and bring this up about 20 millimeters, something like this. Good. Then I add a single edge in here, about one third up, like so. Then go to top view, press the E key and control rotate this 45 degrees, like so. And we need these two. Then I can select this and this, shift up, 
arrow, shift up arrow and delete. Then I can select these polygons and do the same here. Like so. Then I select this vertex here. W key put with action center element. Select this element here and then bring this back minus four millimeters. Then I select this one, W key, select this edge here and do the same four millimeters here. Good. Now we can select this edge here and this one, up arrow key and then Z key and bring this out on the x-axis, maybe 11 millimeters. R key and straighten it out and do the same down here. Up arrow key, Z key, this time on the Z axis, also 11 millimeters. R key again and make it to zero. Okay, next I can select this edge and this one and bridge it with auto connection and it will automatically put in this edge here in the middle. Top view again, then I select this vertex here W key and on the green circle, bring this to about here. Okay, now I can shift X these polygons and bring them up, maybe 15 millimeters. R key and make this. Mm, 50%. Top view again, W key and come to about here. Perspective, we can delete these two polygons, we don't need this. And now I would like to see the grid. Go to top view again, W key, bring this to maybe better in wireframe mode, to about here. And this is 19.6, so minus 19.6 here as well. Then we can select these vertices or edges, like so, and then vertex set position 0 on Z and do the same here. Vertex set position 0 on X and now back to wireframe mode, uh, sorry to OpenGL and no need for the grid. And then I put an edge in here. Like so. Okay. Let's see what we have. Uh, we need some more edges in here. So Alt C, count of two symmetry and yeah 25 percent why not then another one in here like so and a single edge down here 
let's see how this looks that looks pretty good and I think I go with this so uh, one more thing I put the single edge in here at 50% and lift this up to here let's see yeah that looks like the bottom of an egg box good next I can go to duplicate mirror over X apply and over Z apply and uh, we can now everything has merged we can now delete these middle edges and I don't quite like this here so delete and select all these edges and shift F5 again and run the perfect circle again let's check how perfect it is yes looks pretty good now I can put in a polygon in here then select this polygon <coughs> bevel it and bevel it up a bit shift click bevel it again and bevel it up once more and if you want to make a perfect surface there is a tutorial how to make perfect surfaces with any even number of edges but I will do it the lazy way I just make it spiky uh, like so shift A and do the same as I did before go to vertex mode bevel this vertex a bit select two edges in here up arrow key backspace delete go back to vertex mode and join averaged good now this is our egg box I think I make this one here a bit bigger like so so it is a bit more straight now because everything is wider on the top than on the bottom we can just duplicate this and then bridge the two parts so select everything control copy control V W and bring this down mm, minus one press the F key and flip the bottom half and now we can just bridge these two halves together so select this edge here and this one and bridge them together and add two more edges in here and here is our egg box and because the top of the box is exactly the same as the burger box I did I will not model it because really the challenging part is the bottom here we are and wrong one wanted this one that's it thanks for watching Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.